Hey guys, it's me Pratha. Welcome back and today we are with, here with another video for you and we are going to be talking about this book called The Magic of the Lost Temple by Sudha Murthy. Sudha Murthy is a prolific writer in English and Kannada. She has written novels, technical books, travelogues, collection of short stories and non-fictional pieces and books for children. Her books have been translated into all the major Indian languages. She has been rewarded with RK, Narayan and Panma Sri Award for Literature. She is a notable philanthropist too. Her social work covers healthcare, education, women empowerment, public hygiene, art and culture, poverty, elevation at the grassroots levels. One thing that differentiates Sudhamurthy's writing from that of other authors is that she writes simple and interesting stories. She does not use different words and the way she writes makes the leader related to the story. Writing style keeps me engrossed, making me to continue reading. This book is heartwarming, charming and absolutely unputdownable. In this book, there is a 12-year-old city girl, Anushka, called as Noomi. She actually lives in Bangalore with her working parents. She used to spend every summer vacation in summer camps but this year her mother has to go to a training so Mooney decides to choose her father's native place so Manhali to spend the summer vacation she notices that the village life is very different than city life in many ways but they adopt to the village life soon because of the empty roads in the village she gets to learn cycle on the first day itself she even attends a wedding day and realizes that weddings are very different in villages where all villagers involve voluntarily for many days. The best part of the book is a beautiful story narrated by her granny, which is a story of a king. Once he gets lost in a forest while hunting and while sleeping, he found out that there is a beautiful temple which has many Simba temples in it. And its water tastes like nectar. It was a full moon night and ten maidens came there to praise the Lord and drink the tasty water. When the king requests them to give this stuffle to him so that his village will have another method to drinking water. The maidens accept with one condition that no one will use its water for anything except drinking and no one will visit it on full moon night. The king immediately accepts the offer and the maidens bless him with the step well. But the king's proud wife feels like the king is being superstitious and she visits the well on a full moon night and even takes a bath in it and the step well immediately disappears. The story is contradicted by her grandfather and a teacher in the village. Nuni was not sure if it was a real story or a myth, but once while Nuni's picnic with her friends, she stumbled down the same stumble and the village becomes the story spot thereafter. Read the book to fi find out what happens. But, so, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe and comment.